This e-learning provides important information for measuring the pH value and for the commissioning and maintenance of pH electrodes. The pH value describes whether a medium reacts acidic, neutral or alkaline. The pH value is a measure for hydrogen ion activity. The pH value increases with lower hydrogen ion activity. In industrial and municipal water and wastewater plants, combination electrodes are generally used for online measurements. The standard installation length of the combination electrodes is 120 mm and the electrodes usually have PG 13.5 external thread which allows to screw them into a fitting. The electrodes have two chambers which house the measuring and reverence systems. The inner chamber contains the measuring system and provides a potential which is a measure of the pH value. The membrane glass of the measuring system is negatively charged and the hydrogen ions mentioned carry a positive charge. As the hydrogen ion activity increases, more ions are collected by the membrane and a higher potential is created. This corresponds to a lower pH value. The potential, which depends on the pH value, is led via the inner electrolyte and the inner conduction system to the connection plug. The internal electrolyte is liquid and is responsible for the connection between the membrane and the inner conduction system. For this reason, upside-down measurements are not possible with combination electrodes. A minimum angle of 10 degree to the horizontal is required. The outer chamber contains the reverence system, which provides a stable reverence potential independent of the pH value. The chamber is opened through the diaphragm towards the measuring solution. The liquid potential is led through the diaphragm, the reverence electrolyte and the reverence conduction system to the electrical connection. The reverence electrolyte consists of saturated potassium chloride and dissolves over time. For this reason too, combination electrodes should be regarded as consumables. The ceramic diaphragm shown would block relatively quickly in the presence of contamination which is why it is only used for clean or slightly contaminated media. For contaminated media, combination electrodes with PDFE diaphragms or those with open diaphragms such as annular gaps or perforated diaphragms are used. The pH combination electrode outputs a voltage which decreases with 59 mV per pH. This applies to the medium temperature of 25 centigrades. At a pH value of the measuring solution of about pH 7, the pH combination electrode outputs a voltage of 0 mV. The zero point depends on the pH value of the inner electrolyte. As already mentioned, the slope of the straight line depends on the temperature of the measuring solution. In case of large temperature fluctuations and measurements far away from pH 7, the pH value may have to be temperature compensated. To measure the temperature, the transmitters have an input for RTD temperature probes. Compensation thermometers can be used which have the same design as the combination electrodes. The transmitters enable temperature compensated pH measurements. Combination electrodes must be unscrewed from the fitting for cleaning and calibration. This explains the great popularity of pH combination electrodes with a connector plug. For combination electrodes without temperature sensor, the potentials of the measuring system and the reverence system must be transferred. 
Here the two pole N connection system is used. When mounted, this connection usually has protection class IP67. The measuring circuit is very high impedance, which is why moisture penetration into the connectors must be avoided, even during installation. Coaxial cables with additional insulation are used. The inner core carries the potential of the measuring system, the shielding that of the reverend system. The two signals must be connected to the transmitter accordingly. The figure shows the connection of a pH combination electrode to analysis input 1 of the Yumo Aquas Touch P multi-channel instrument. The standard wiring shown corresponds to the asymmetrical connection which requires a factory fitted short circuit bridge. The transmitters available from Yumo can be configured via a program. In the following example, however, the configuration is carried out via the front of the device. The transmitters are also used for other sensors. Here the setting for the class pH combination electrodes must be checked. If the process solution temperature is used for compensation, the respective temperature input must be specified. If the temperature measurement is not used, a fixed process solution temperature can be used for compensation. In the example, the setting for a medium temperature of 14 centigrade is carried out. If the liquid temperature does not correspond to the set temperature, there will be deviations in the pH value displayed. In order to enable the calibration in later operation, this must be released. The standard procedure is two-point calibration. The zero point of combination electrodes changes during their lifetime and the slope also varies. The changing behavior is compensated by the transmitter after calibration. Calibrations must be carried out with a new startup and during the lifetime of the pH combination electrodes. Buffer solutions are usually used for calibration. These are liquids with a defined pH value. The mentioned two-point calibration compensates for zero-point shifts and slope changes. A buffer solution of less than pH 7 is used for measurements in the acidic range. For measurements in the alkaline range, a buffer solution greater than 7 is used. An approximately neutral solution is always used as the second buffer solution. The buffer solutions must be placed in suitable containers for calibration and discarded after calibration. Before immersing the combination electrode, Clean it and idly rinse it with deionized water. Since the signal output by the pH combination electrode depends on the temperature, the temperature of the buffer solution must be specified when the calibration is started. Enter the pH value of the first buffer. Rinse the combination electrode with deionized water and place it in the second buffer. For the second buffer follow the same procedure. 
The calibration is completed with information on the state of the combination electrode. The zero point is the pH value at which the electrode outputs zero millivolt. The zero point should be within a range of pH 6 to 8. A slope of 100% means that the pH value changes by minus 59 millivolt per pH at 25 centigrades. The slope should be at least 90%. If the parameters are outside the recommendations, the combination electrode should be replaced. The storage time of combination electrodes is limited. It is recommended to use them after six months at the latest. The electrodes are stored in a wet retaining cap filled with potassium chloride and must not dry out. Combination electrodes must be kept clean over their lifetime. The electrodes as a whole can be regarded as quite stable, but the glass membrane is sensitive. This must be protected from scratching or breakage. The cleaning can be done with water. If cleaning agents are required, this can generally be done with glass cleaners or laboratory detergents such as alcohol or acetone. The blocking of the diaphragm slows down the response time of the electrode. The effect can often be reduced by cleaning the diaphragm with a closer brush. A pepsin hydrochloric acid solution can also be used for cleaning. This reduces both protein and chalk deposits. After cleaning the electrode, rinse it and check the function with buffer solutions. The measuring circuit must be calibrated if deviations can be detected. All information about our seminars, webinars, e-learnings and reference books are available at campus.yumo.net